Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our fifth lesson on a given Form 3 mathematics topic called Formula and Variation. So we are looking at our example number 18, which is a past case C question tested in 2011 paper 2, question number 3. The same question was also repeated in 2016 paper 2, uh, question number 4. So the question reads that make S the subject of the formula uh, W is equals to the cube root of S plus T then divided by S. So the first thing we are going to do is to eliminate the cube root by cubing uh, both sides of this equation. Therefore, I'll cube this side. I also cube uh, the other uh, side so that I'm going to get the following. So if I cube W, I simply am going to get W uh, cubed being equal to, of course, the cube root and the cube will cancel out so that I remain with uh, S plus T then of course divided by uh, s. Then I'll make this a fraction. So to eliminate the fraction, I'm going to multiply through by the LCM. Uh, alternatively, we can as well cross multiply. So this one will multiply with this. Then of course one will uh, multiply with the, with the other number. So I'm going to get uh, w uh, cubed s being equal to uh, one multiplied by s plus t. I'm simply going to get s plus t. So because they want me to make S subject of the formula, I'll take uh, this particular S to the other side uh, so that I can group them. So I'm going to have uh, W uh, cubed S, then of course minus S being equal to uh, T. So because S is common, I'm going to factor it out. So I'm going to have S, then of course into bracket, uh, W uh, cubed, then of course minus 1. So this one will be equal to uh, T. Then if I divide through by whatever I have in the bracket, this will be W uh, cubed, then of course minus 1. I also divide the other side by uh, W cubed minus 1. So W cubed minus 1, uh, they'll actually cancel out so that I'm going to remain with uh, my solution uh, being that S, uh, S is equals to a T, then of course divided by uh, W uh, cubed, then of course minus 1. Or the same solution can also be given by, if you multiply through by a negative, this will be negative t, then divided by, if I multiply through by a negative, this will be positive 1, then this will be negative w cubed. So this will be positive 1, then minus w uh, cubed. So either of the answers, either this one or this, are both acceptable. Then we look at our question number 19, which is also a past case C question tested in 2012, paper to question number two. Uh, it reads that make n subject of the equation r over p is equal to m divided by uh, the root of uh, n minus one. So the first thing I'm going to do away with the uh, root. So I'm going to square uh, both sides of this equation uh, so that I can eliminate uh, the root. I also square this side. So this one means I'm going to have r squared then divided by uh, p squared which should be equal to uh, m squared, then divided by, this one means I'm going to have the root of uh, n minus 1, then of course I square this. Now, remember that uh, this square root and uh, this square are going to cancel out, so that we remain with r squared uh, divided by uh, p squared being equal to uh, m squared, then uh, divided by, this will remain to be n minus 1. On cross multiplying, this one should cross multiply with this, then this one with this. So I'm going to have uh, r uh, squared into bracket n minus 1 uh, being equal to p squared times m squared. I'll simply get uh, p squared m squared. If I open the bracket, I'm going to have r uh, squared n, then minus r uh, squared being equal to uh, p squared m squared. Then um, if I separate my working, this is what I'm going to get. So I'm going to have these. So uh, I need to make n a uh, subject of the formula. Therefore, I need to retain the only term having n on the uh, one side alone. So I'm having r squared n being equal to uh, p squared uh, m squared, then of course plus r squared. Then I'll divide through by r squared. I also divide through by r uh, squared so that this one and this will cancel out. So actually uh, n, uh, the value of n will be given by uh, p squared m squared, then of course plus r squared, 
then the whole thing divided by r squared which is the same as saying uh, p r squared m squared over r squared then of course added to r squared then divided by r squared then we know that r squared divided by r squared you'll get one huh? this one goes here one time this one also one time one divided by one you are going to get one so it means that n uh, will actually be equal to a uh, p squared a uh, p squared m squared divided by r squared then of course plus one so this will be our final answer then we also look at question number 20 which is also a past cases equation tested in 2013 paper to question number three it treats that make d subject of the formula so this is the formula that we are given so the first thing i'm going to eliminate the fractions uh through multiplying through by the lcm so of course the lcm is a uh, 2n i also multiply this by 2n i also multiply this by uh, 2n which is the lcm so here are uh, the n are going to cancel out so n and n will cancel out then here 2 and 2 will uh, 2 and 2 will cancel out so i'm going to remain with a uh, 2np 2np being equal to here i'm going to have m n squared times n i'm going to get n cubed so this will be m n cubed then of course minus this one will give me a uh, negative 2 uh, we have these two here a uh, q a uh, d squared so i'm going to get uh so this will be 2 pn then of course plus uh, which is equals to mn cubed then minus 2 q d squared minus 2 q d uh, squared then uh, they want me to make d subject of the formula therefore i need to leave d uh, on one side alone uh, being positive so to achieve that i'll take this to this side and this one to the uh, opposite side so i'm going to have positive uh, 2 uh, q d squared being equal to uh, m n uh, cubed then of course minus uh, 2 n p minus 2 n p so i'll divide through by 2 q i also divide through by uh, 2 q so that i'm going to remain with uh, 2 q and 2 q will cancel out therefore i'm going to have uh, d squared uh, d squared being equal to m n cubed minus 2 n p then the whole thing divided by a uh, 2 q so if i want to remain with q that is a d alone i'm going to divide through uh, that is i'm going to find the the square root on both sides of the equation so i'm going to find the square roots on this side then also the square root on uh, the opposite side so of course square root is plus or minus uh. so it means that uh, d uh, will actually be equal to plus or minus uh, the root of uh, plus or minus the root of uh, m n cubed then minus 2 n p uh, 2 n p then the whole thing divided by uh, 2 q so this will be uh, the value of d so divided by 2 q then uh, we also look at our um, other example which is our example number 21 which is also a past case equation done in 2023 paper 2 question number 3 so it reads that uh, make x the subject of the formula given that a is equals to bx divided by the root of x squared minus 9. So I'll start by eliminating the roots. Therefore, I square both sides of the equation. I'm also going to square uh, this other side. So if I square, I'm going to get um, on the left hand side, I'll have a squared being equal to uh, bx, of course, squared, uh, then divided by uh, the root of so this is the root of x squared minus 9 then the whole of this should also be uh, squared of course we know that the square root uh, and the square are going to cancel out so that we are going to remain with a squared uh, being equal to uh, b squared x squared then divided by uh, x squared then of course minus 9 from here i'm going to do cross multiplication so this will be a squared uh, into uh, x squared minus 9 uh, which should be equal to 1 times b squared x squared this will be uh, b squared x squared then uh, if i open my brackets on the uh, left hand side i'm going to get the following so if i open the bracket this will give me uh, a squared x squared then of course minus 9 a squared being equal to uh, b squared x squared 
So uh, let me rewrite this. I'm having uh, a squared x squared. Then of course uh, minus minus nine a squared. Then this one is actually equal to uh, b squared x squared. B squared a squared. So this a squared x squared minus uh, nine a squared is equals to b squared x squared. So they want me to make x the subject. Huh? So I'm going to group the terms that are having x together. So I'll group uh, this term with this. Then this one should move to the opposite side. So I'm going to have a squared x squared. Then minus b squared x squared is equals to positive 9a squared. So because x is common, I'm going to factor it out. So x squared uh, into brackets a squared minus b squared. Uh, which should give me uh, 9 uh, a squared so if i divide through with the term in the bracket so this will be over a squared minus b a squared over a squared minus b squared so these two will cancel out therefore x squared will actually be equal to uh, 9 a squared then divided by uh, a squared minus b squared so to find the value of x i'll simply find square root on both sides i also I take the roots on this other uh, side so that means i'm going to uh, have the following so this one will uh, give me so this is what i'm going to get i'm going to have um, so remember the square root is plus or minus huh? so that one means that x will actually be equal to uh, uh, this one i can separate this particular square root for both numerator and denominator so this is the same as saying plus or minus uh, the root of uh, the root of 9 a squared so this is 9 uh, a squared then divided by uh, the root of divided by the root of a squared minus b squared so this one means that my x will be plus or minus a uh, square root of 9 i'm going to get 3 square root of a squared i'm going to get a then of course divided by uh, the root of a squared then minus b squared so this will be our final answer or you can also uh, give it as uh, x is equals to a uh, plus or minus 3a then divided by remember this the, the denominator is a difference of two squares uh, so we can also give it as uh, a plus b then of course multiplied by uh, a minus b a minus b so either of the answers either this one here or uh, this one here uh, so either of the answers are actually acceptable so uh thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified so in our next uh, classes we'll be looking at uh variations this was our last question uh that is our last example on formula so we'll be looking at uh, uh variations that is the direct variation inverse variation and the partial variation in our next classes. Thank you very much. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy.